So I didn't have the right extension or cap socket, which I just got these Lyles, which are nice. And they have an O-ring in there to retain it. And a 3 8 drive and a smaller 8-piece set is about 30 bucks. There's a larger 5-piece set that runs like 60 to 75 bucks too. Um, I think this one is a half inch. You can look it up. But I needed something to get down in there to clock this accumulator hole for fourth gear on a 4L60E. This actually would not have worked, but before these even showed up, what I ended up doing with my wrench is just put a quarter inch extension in a larger tap wrench that took me a while to find one that would fit that I had. Uh, this does fit real loose in here, so there is an easy solution for that. I'll show you. Take a paper towel or shop rag, set it over the hole. Oh, goodness. Set it over the hole and ram that in there until it's flush. You might have to do it twice. I'm going to go ahead and do it off camera. So that's in there nice and solid. I did use two pieces of paper towel and just tore it off and I don't know if you can see but it is snug in there and I just took it for the second go around took it on my wood screwdriver and pushed it down until it's seated um, and then this did work out Let's see if I have a flat surface here where I can show this uh, not a good one but I took it on a table basically got this centered in here took it on a table and rolled it just to make sure it was close to center and then this worked out perfect to tap this accumulator hole um, which on this uh, information I got from the forums not something I thought of myself but this small hole down here is a little cup plug with an orifice in it and that lubricates the rear of the transmission back here by the lower reverse clutches um, if you block this with pistons by stacking them uh, and you know drive a check ball in there then there's no lubrication well if you drive a check ball in there and block this then there's no lubrication going to that cup plug which would normally only get lube in fourth gear when well when fourth gear is applied and you have line pressure coming through this hole but if you leave the pistons out and block that then accumulator fluid is going to come down through this hole all the time and you have continuous lubrication to the rear of the transmission so i'm mainly doing that as a reliability upgrade i'm still not sure how it's going to feel because i've never done it before but i like the idea of continuous lubrication so there's that and then over here i am installing the sonics hd 23 shift valve there's a hole i drilled uh, valves in the house but so yeah installing the Sonics HD heavy duty 23 shift valve which keeps well reverts this back to an old 700R4 setup where when you select manual third instead of just third gear applying the overrun clutches this will apply the overrun clutches in first, second, and third gear when you select manual third. So I followed the instructions a little bit on this. They tell you to actually drill the hole in that corner and use it as a guide. I thought that would actually be about equally as difficult, maybe even more difficult, as drilling a hole through this wall, which achieves the same thing. And by doing it here, um, if I decided to go back and undo this for whatever reason, which I don't know why I would, but I haven't driven the car yet, so we'll see. I figured this would be easier to access. The one thing I would do differently is just move that hole up a little bit. You can see I nicked the worm track right there, which will be absolutely fine. I just removed the high spot. But I started off with a center punch and then a, a like real small drill bit. An intermediate sized drill bit worked my way up to the 1 8 hole and then deburred that and it's good to go so yep just wanted to share that um, you can also get there are some Irwin adjustable 
sets of uh, tap holders like this. And there's some other companies like Tang that make them. Uh, but then had these on the list for several years now to get. And it's something I'd never wanted to spend the money on until I needed it. So hopefully these will do nicely. One last thing to share on this. This case, there's where the hole is. And then I have this other case that's no good. I showed in the previous video how the lugs down in there are destroyed. But this one, I just have this in here so I don't lose it right now because i got to wash the other one out. This one looks different. See where that is in relation to the wall there and the angle of that face versus that one. You can kind of tell, I, know I have the plug in there, but I did a test run on this with the, you know, the tap that I just ordered. I figured why not practice over here. And this one went in really easy. Um, I did end up a little bit off center, but it works just fine. And my, my plug actually goes further into this hole than the other one. Uh, but I thought this would be you know, real simple. This I had a bear of a time with because this started to, the tap started to run into the wall on top there. And it became really hard to turn as this taper starts to get real big. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it suddenly starts to get bigger up about right there. And it started just grabbing that wall. And you might even be able to see. Well, maybe not. I thought maybe that would focus. Well, I'm a terrible cameraman but up on that top edge this thing in between you know when it passed a flute and got back to the threads it would start to really grab that and it was a pain to get this thing to go in there i can get it in there about three and a half turns which i'm happy with um but i wanted to get it in there at least three turns i really wanted to get it in there further it just makes me feel better i'm sure it'll be fine but before you do this because there are there's two options one is to use a 5 16th set screw and just lock tight it in there. Uh, the other is to use this 1 16th pipe tap, which I thought sounded like a better idea. I just liked it better. Uh, next time, I will take a close look at this if I do this again to make sure that this is going to be easy to run. Otherwise, I'm just going to run a set screw with a 5 16th tap and call it a day. There's the two valves next to each other for anyone wanting to see the difference. The one on the right is the replacement. There's a part number. If you look in the GM Hydromatic book, you can look at the fluid circuit and what you're doing by installing that valve and drilling the hole too.